It's crucial never to put yourself in a position when you lose more than you can afford. One of the worst feeling is wanting to trade but not be able to do so because your account is blown up. Hey there, Tommy from FibonaciTraders.com here with the Daily Market Recap. Please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends. Let's hit the daily charts. Bears came out full power today, but we have this red trend line. This red trend line helps us to identify the higher lows since beginning of March, two months of an uptrend of higher lows. Now let's see if bulls can defend this red trend line. If the bulls will fail to hold this line, we are going to fill this gap because we know that more than 80% of all gaps will get filled. Breaking below this red trend line, we are going towards this gap over here. If this area of support will fail to hold, we are going towards this, this yellow trend line. Follow price, use levels and trend lines to manage your risk. And not only that, trend lines are also the roadmap for future price action. And we were ready for this in the premium room earlier today. We took short once price broke below the 416 we took short idea you're more than welcome to join us fibonacci traders discord fibonacci traders program we are not an alert service we are a 24 7 support guidance everything that a trader needs to become your own indicator check the links in the description below qqq uptrend until proven otherwise now 338 339 to the upside very tough resistance 333 needs to hold otherwise we are going to retest this red trend line to the downside together with the 329 breaking below we have all the levels to the downside to manage risk and future support. Dow Jones breaking below the 331. Now next area will be the 329. We have a slight gap over here at the 328, 329. Dow Jones overall very weak. Relative weakness to the SPY and the Qs. We have this red trend line still very tough resistance iwm tried and failed to break up and above the 180 and if you follow me on twitter and you saw previous videos in the past few weeks or so you know that the 180 is a very tough resistance and here we are once again bulls of the iwm tried failed now let's see if they will give up if they will give up 175 172 and maybe back all the way to 171 to the downside follow price use levels to manage your risk and your guide for future price action this is all we have to do sox 446 tough resistance now 435 to the downside is the risk management Breaking below it, we are going towards 426 and we have all the levels to the downside. If the SOXX will break to the upside, 460 is the next resistance. Bitcoin basically moving sideways, grinding up this orange trend line. You know this trend line because you follow me on Twitter and you saw previous videos. And if you are not following me on Twitter yet, Take one second, hit the follow. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends, help me grow this channel if you find this channel helpful, of course. Trend lines, support, resistance, support, and roadmap for future price action. Ethereum basically moving sideways, tried to bounce off the 1800 towards this red trend line for now got stuck where 
look left. We can draw a line over here. Look left. Now, 1870 from support, support resistance. Now this area, tough resistance. Let's see if Ethereum can break up and above towards this red trend line. Breaking above it, we have the 1930 and the 20K to the upside, 2000 to the hands up to the upside. 1800 needs to hold, otherwise, we are going to retest this white trend line to the downside. Apple, some kind of a pullback, 171 needs to hold. Once again, 171, look left, very important level of support now getting retested breaking below it downtrend continuation we are going to fill this gap at the 167 on the way this trend line needs to hold failing to hold 167 is incoming let's see if apple can bounce up and above towards the 173 back again but for now looks like apple needs some pullback Amazon back below this red trend line, holding barely above the 114, breaking below. Next support will be the 111. Below 111, in my opinion, this gap at the 106 will get filled because we know that more than 80% of all gaps will get filled throughout time. And if bulls of Amazon wants to continue this uptrend, this gap needs to get filled and sooner the better. AMD, 108, tough resistance in the past few days. Today, bulls tried, failed, closed below the 108. Now, 104 and 101 to the downside needs to hold. Otherwise, we have 96. If bulls will break up and above, long continuation towards this wide trend line together with the 117. Microsoft, some kind of a pullback will be healthy. Microsoft since January earlier this year bull run almost 50% to the upside. So some kind of a pullback will be healthy at this point. 311 together with this red trend line is the support. This red trend line goes all the way back to October of 2022. And as we can see, resistance for the higher highs then break up above earlier this april support now this red trend line needs to get retested as support failing to hold we have the older levels to the downside we have also a gap at the 281 follow price use levels and trend lines for support resistance and roadmap for future price action Tesla, yellow trend line. I know I sound like a broken record, but once we truly understand the relationship between candlestick analysis, aka price action, Fibonacci levels, and trend lines, our lives as traders will become much easier because trend lines are the true support resistance. For price action, look at the price action since October, each and every time, price of Tesla tried to break up and above, it failed. Today, once again, in the morning, we thought, here we are, Tesla bulls are here, but trend line got rejected. Now, 184 needs to hold, otherwise we are going towards the 177. 171 to the downside and don't forget we have this gap at the 146 that needs to get filled the sooner the better nvidia 320 to the upside sub resistance this yellow trend line from resistance now needs to get retested as a support and hold the support otherwise we have 295 and 278 to the downside breaking up and above the 319 351 is next don't forget nvidia tomorrow wednesday earnings 
pay attention and manage your risk accordingly. Shopify breaking to the downside. Yesterday we thought finally breaking up and above continuation up, but if you have a proper risk management, now Shopify to the downside, 58 needs to hold, 56 is next, 53.80 is a major level of support. Below it, we are going to fill the gap at the 48. Google, let's see if this white trend line that was resistance, let's clear the chart, clean the chart, clear the chart, better point of view, this white trend line resistance resistance broke to the upside now let's see if it will hold the support breaking below 80 percent chance that this gap will get filled now you can take fibonacci swing low swing high 121 together with this white trend line needs to hold otherwise 117 below 117 this gap will get filled Want to take your financial freedom in your own hands? Stop following others to tell you what to do, when to buy, when to sell, what to buy, what to sell. Check the links in the description below. We have free playlist, Fibonacci Academy's playlist. 20 videos, each video 20 minutes or less on how to become a better trader. Technical side, the psychology side, we have the Fibonacci's 60 minutes crash course. We have the online program, six hours, 49 lessons. We have the one-on-one -on -one mentorship program. We have many programs that you can choose from, free or paid. You choose. It's your freedom. It's your financial freedom. No one will take care of your money except you. So start today how to become your own indicator. Meta, this gap is a very tough resistance. We have also the gap to the downside. For now, let's see where Meta is going. 244 needs to hold, otherwise 241, 238 to the downside are the next major support. Breaking above the 250, we are going 253, 260 and 269. Netflix, as we said, more than 80% of all gaps will get filled. And now looks like Netflix is going back. Retracement towards the gap at the 341. Let's see, 346 needs to hold. If 346 will fail to hold, this gap will get filled. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please hit the like, subscribe, share with friends. Don't forget to check the links in the description below for more educational resources. Until the next video, stay safe.